Good day, Stars Mill. This is Daniel Stackhouse with the Prowler for Coaches Corner, the segment where we interview Stars Mill's coaches. Today, I'm here with head coach of the cheerleading team, Coach Heather McNally. Coach McNally, how are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing very good. Thank you. So, last time we talked, it was for the cheer preview video, which was before the season. And after the video, you guys can go check that out. But now, let's kind of take it back towards the first competition of the season. You guys did very well placing third and only out, only being outplaced by Macintosh and Carrollton. How'd you guys feel after that? And how'd you feel about the team? Um, I was proud of the team. I thought that they did a good job. Um, we know that Carrollton and Macintosh have very, very strong programs this year. And um, we know what we have to improve on. And um, so it was good. It was good for the girls to see what Carrollton and Macintosh look like and what kinds of things we need to work on moving forward and um, it was good. It was eye-opening and it was a good experience for them. And then moving forward to the second competition, things were looking, looking a little rocky because you guys were lo lost two people and that meant you guys couldn't max out. How worried were you about that competition with that in mind? Um, that was rough. That well, we we. The second competition was at Stars Mill, um, but then I mean the, the third, third competition. No, that, yeah, sorry. no, that's okay. The, so the third competition that was um, this past weekend, and that was um, that was difficult. Um, the girls actually did really well. Our music um, skipped, which is very very hard to overcome because the girls have to count through it while the music is kind of on a different beat, and they. They did it anyway. They continued, they did it, and they did a very, very good job despite all of those obstacles. So I was, I was proud of them for, for making it through that. So um, we're hoping we don't have another music obstacle, and, um, and now we're still working with being down two cheerleaders and um, working through those obstacles for our next competition. Speaking of which, you guys have been hit with a bunch of injuries throughout the season. Uh, just talk to me. Just talk to me going through those injuries and how do you, how that's affecting the team. It's difficult. Cheerleading is a very very difficult sport. Um, we had some injuries going into the season. We've had a couple um, injuries during our season, and so we have two girls that are not competing this weekend. Um, and it's hard. It's hard to replace girls. It's hard to um, just keep the rest of the girls, keep morale up and keep them excited and positive. Um, so we're hoping to have everyone back by the end of the month and, um, and just keeping them healthy and safe and ready to perform and getting ready really for region and state. And as you said in the cheer preview video, you said that this is an adventure. Do you still feel like that rings true? One hundred percent. That's more true than it's ever been. We just it's a it's a nonstop adventure every every step of the way. So we just try to embrace it and go with it. So even though you got some people injured, who do you think are some of the leaders on this team, whether that be physical or by their own leadership? And who are also some of the cheerleaders that have been catching your eye? Um, our seniors provide great leadership. Um, I'm proud of them for, for stepping up and, and keeping our morale high. Um, I've got several juniors that are outstanding and doing a great job. Um, all of the girls that are doing what they can and they, they know, especially now, that um, they're tumbling matters, they're getting in the gym, they are um, doing what they need to do to step up and um, realizing that every single one of them matters. Every single one of them. All of their skills we need. We need every one of them to do everything that they can possibly do for the team. Um, so I feel like they, they're all contributing and they know that they all have to contribute if they want to be successful. And also, how are you feeling about this team at this point in time? Um, I feel good. I feel like um, I need for them to feel good. I need for them to um, to realize their potential and to um, to dig deep and work hard and 
um, and know that they are capable of, of doing a lot as long as they will do it. And so what, what are your thoughts going forward for the rest of the season? We have three more competitions and then we, um, then we have region and state. So um, these next three competitions are going to be very, very difficult. And then obviously region and state are not easy. Um, so um, they are going to have to dig deep and they are going to have to um, work extra, extra hard to, um, to get all of the extra tumbling that they need and to, um, to do all of the stunting and, and all that it takes and um, work together as a team and work separately as individuals on their specific skills to, to put this routine together and, um, and do what we need to do to look good and um, they can do it. It's just, it's time. And there you have it guys. The cheer team's going to be competing this Saturday at Ola High School. If that's too far of a drive for you, you just have to wait one more week and they're going to be going to Northgate to compete, which is much more reasonable. And after that they got Putnam County and then Region Champion, the Region Championship. So with that said, from Coach McNally and the amazing Becca Algazi behind the camera, I'm Daniel Stackhouse. Cheers, fellas. Go Panthers. <laughs>